It was 7.30 a.m. when I was awakened by that god-awful, dreaded sound of the phone ringing. I hated that sound, simply because it usually meant something bad had happened. Someone was killed. I quickly answered and was rather surprised by what I was hearing. The call was from Sheriff Lowry, informing me that a string of murders have occurred at numerous houses near Main Street. Now that was surprising, because it was an Amish community, and the Amish are usually quite peaceful people. Sheriff Lowry gave me every detail that was known at the moment, which wasn't much. Then he urged me to hurry up and not be late. I agreed without hesitation. Then just before I could hang up, he added that my partner, Dave Rogers, would be meeting me at the crime scene in thirty minutes sharp. This will work out just fine for me. I only live ten minutes away, which still gives me enough time to get dressed properly and stop at the corner gas station for some coffee and a quick fill-up. After pumping the gas, I made my way to Main Street and was shocked to see Dave already at the scene. He was speaking with some man and a beautiful barefoot blonde woman. Well, you got here fast, I said as he nodded. The woman looked at me and smiled briefly while fiddling with a small gold cross pendant that was on her necklace. Then she continued speaking to Dave in a mildly flirtatious way. The man glanced at me, then extended his hand, introducing himself as Detective Matt Johnson. Nice to meet you. My name is Bill Landless, I said while shaking his hand. I know. Your partner here was telling me you guys were assigned to the case. That's news to me. I was told to come up here from Sheriff Williams in Kissel Hill, Matt replied. Well, Sheriff Lowry from Rossville sent us here. This is usually our jurisdiction, I responded confidently before continuing. Look, we can all work together on solving this case, I suggested as Dave and Matt agreed.